In this video, I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite route combo at a trip tight end. This is my personal favorite concept. Um, it's not, it doesn't mean it's the best concept, it means it's my personal favorite concept. Uh, it is really good, but I, I just love this play because of the way the reads work in it. Um, it's not as good as it was last year, but I think it's still very, very good. And if you have Hot Route Master, you can actually make this even, even better. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. Guys, we just released a trips tight end offensive guide. And so if you would like to get that and you'd like to learn the entire offense as one guide, I would encourage you to head over to my website. You can get the entire offense for just $15, um, a one-time purchase. And it's just a really, really, really good website or really, really, really good uh, offense. So if you want to get access to it, there's a link in the description below and uh, we'll get you guys going uh, with that. So uh, let's jump into this video. So this is out of uh, New England. And New England, unfortunately, does not have the play X-Spot. Now, Detroit has this play, but I'm going to show you how you can recreate this play with two plays uh, in this. The first one is Pat's slot or PA slot corner. And then we're also going to show you how you can do this with just a hot route master or a slot apprentice, which most of you at this point in Mutt have the ability to get that if you get Dan Marino or Justin Herbert, or you can get slot apprentice for really cheap. Um, that's all you really need, slot apprentice and tight end apprentice. You have to have tight end apprentice to run this offense well, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, let's jump into the video. So, uh, PA slot corner, how we're going to set this up is we are going to put the tight end on a crosser. We are going to put the square receiver on a fade. And then what I like to do is I like to take this triangle receiver and put him on a zig. And then I'm going to take my running back and I'm going to put him on a wheel. And what you're going to see is we're going to motion this guy to the left, to the right, and we're going to snap about right here. And what you're going to see is against man coverage, this tight end crosser will just torch him. Uh, that's Rob Gronkowski. No abilities, pretty bad route running, and he torched one of the best corners uh, on the New England Patriots. So you see here, just really simple concept. Uh, your first read is going to be your zig fade, then you're looking to your crosser, and if that's not open, you're coming back to your post, okay? Now, in X spot, the post actually comes from the outside guy. So it would look like this. If you were in an X spot, say you see there, I just put him on a hot route mastered post. I'm gonna motion him over. I actually prefer this better anyway. Um, and what you'll see is that post that is a little sharper. So it's gonna get a little bit better separation against man. I don't know why I'm getting absolutely screamed at. Um, so we're going to go to Mike Blitz 3 because, or Mike Blitz 0 because I'm just getting screamed at here by, you know, no name New England. But anyway, so what you're going to see here, you have some, it looks like this, snap the ball, your uh, post, see, that's Stephon Gilmore one step ahead and that beats it. If you don't have Hot Route Master and you still want to do this this way, put him on a smart route of dig. That's all you have to do. Just put him on a smart route of dig. So it looks like this. Actually, smart route outlet, I guess, technically. So you see, this is what it looks like. This will work just fine, too. That dig will get separation against man. Pretty good separation, I might add. And you see, this is what you get. Now, if you do that, if you have, um, if you have, like, a running back, like, you could do this with pretty much no hot route abilities other than tight end apprentice. Uh, I do think tight end apprentice is really, really important, though. So we're going to do it like this now. You can see here, I can, I can do some different things with the running back if I wanted to as well. I could put him, he doesn't have to be on a wheel. You can put him on a quick out if you're worried about man coverage. But, I mean, golly, 55 is just eating me alive, man. Uh, but but you see you see what I'm getting at here. So, you know, the good old 245 odd is so good. But you'll see, let me show you it again. So we'll go dig. Something like that. And look at the dig. Like, really, really good. And that's against a one-step back corner. And he's getting pretty good position, okay? Um, so, you could do this with you could do this with, with those adjustments and, and be fine. It's not, it's not a big deal. So, now, this is okay. It's average against man. It's incredibly effective against zone. It's average against man. It's incredibly effective against zone. So, uh, how we're going to set this up is exactly the same. So, we're going to go... Uh, we'll run PA slot corner first, and we'll use kind of the, the, the best way to do it is this. And you're going zig, no, okay, I've got my crosser, yes. So I'm going to throw that. And as you see, the beauty of that route is it's going to get under a 30-yard cloud. 
They have to play a 30-yard cloud to stop doubles and sale and PA counter go and some of your meta stuff. And so when you go to something like this, they, they really can't stop that unless they use it because their zone drops are probably going to be set to stop PA counter go or one of your more popular play setups. So when you go to something like this, they're oftentimes going to get caught off guard. And as you'll see, same thing. So then their user is going to go to the tight end, and the whole middle of the field is now open for your post over the middle of the field. That's why this play is so good. And it's really my favorite. I think it's the easiest way to read a defense. It's a true left to right. We're looking to the fade, then we're looking to the zig, then we're looking to the cross, then we're looking to the post, and then we're looking for the back. Very natural progression, and uh, that's why I really do enjoy running this play. Okay, so now let me show you the Hot Rod Monster version or the Slot Apprentice version. Let's see how that looks. This sharp post is really good. Um, he's still going to get behind the yellows, I guess. <laughs> um, he's still going to get behind the, the yellows for the most part. Um, but he's going to get a – he's the for cover four drop. Cover four drop does play this fairly well. Um, but he's going to get behind, you know, most yellow zones. And again, you can just let him get all the way out here, get really nice spacing. Pep, gosh, I'm getting shit of you. That's a three-man rush, man. Um, but anyway, you see here, I mean, he's just, we'll shut one more time. Uh, also, your zig. I would never, ever, ever, I think it's really, really important to not, uh, not, not, not read it. So you're going high, low, zig's open, I can take it. And that zig is really good. Now, I said it was average against man. One thing I want to quickly point out is if they are shading their coverage up in man, your zig is going to be open probably 95% of the time. So you get something like that, you rat catch it, and you're going to go for 15 to 20 yards. That's how good a zig is. So the zig is a really, really good route in this game. Um, it's really good for man. It's really good for zone. Uh, so you can easily hit that. Now, what about a blitz? Okay, so let's say, you know what? They're like, yeah, that's all good. We're tired of you having this all this time in the pocket. We are going to send some pressure. Okay, well, how that's going to work is your pressure release is going to be either your wheel or your zig. So you're going right in there. You hit your wheel. That's pr fairly open. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and uh, put the back on a check release. And the reason I like the check release is because the check release will really, um, if you think about the progression, I'm looking to the left side first anyway. So I could do something like this, and now I got the zig route that I can hit as a, as a pressure release for a couple of yards. And then again, it all comes back to who they're using, but for the most part, you're going to be able to hit your crosser as well. So these route, these uh, zones are going to get pulled with these flats, right? So you've got a pretty good chance at hitting uh, your crosser over the deep middle. And if you do, if you do that little delay, fit, delay, delay release with the back, you got even better chance because that back is going to do that. And again, um, you know, don't sleep on out routes to the running back. Out routes to the running back have been good all year for a reason. They're a really, really good play. So you get this, you go here. And then you go, you know, spin and get upfield and really easy. So this is a really fun play. Like I said, it's my favorite play to run. Um, I'm not saying it's the best play. I think it's a good play, um, but it's my personal favorite. So it's basically the Y cross concept from the air raid. When you motion over, it turns it into a dupe, uh, to doubles or to two by two. And so it's just a very, very, very good route combo in my opinion. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tied In offensive scheme, I would encourage you to pick up the ebook. There's a link in the description below. You can get the entire ebook for just $15. Now, real quick, I also wanted to just quickly say, if you've not joined the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to do that. Um, that gets you access to everything. So for 10 bucks a month, you get access to all of our ebooks, every offense, every defense, um, for just one price of $10 a month. So super, super affordable, super cheap, and uh, something that I think is really going to help you get better at this game. So thanks for watching. If you want to check out either of those things, both of them are linked in the description of this video. So just head on down there and check that stuff out.